Welcome to Tipsy Tuesday with Deborah Chetwood from the Texas Photographer. I'm so excited you found this tutorial. We are going to be talking about scallop edges and what you can do with those. Today I'm showing you a sample of a Valentine's card I created um, using scalloped edges and clipping the photos into it. How do you go about getting these shapes? Well, you can go out there and look for them online and I'm sure you'll find something but if you want something to be more creative and more individual and something you did yourself stay tuned because I've got the answer for you. Over here I've created one in a circle using the scalloped edge fill to it. I'm going to step you through on exactly how I go about doing that. The first step I want to do is I'm going to create a new object, new shape, using the Eclipse tool. Tip number one, if you're using the Eclipse and you want a circle, hold down that shift key as you drag. It will keep it proportionate to a circle, so no matter how big you get or how small, it will always be a circle. How awesome is that? Once you've got it, well, you got to release the button before you release your shift key. So, once you have the shape that you want and you like the size of it and everything, you are set to go to the next step and this is the part that we'll be going through. I am going to then take my shape and go into paths and right here you're going to see shape one vector mask. Photoshop has actually created this, it's a vector shape and it utilizes paths. So. I'm going to then take that and select it and come down here and do a right click and say make selection. When that window comes up, I'm going to only select OK. Notice new selection is actually checked in the operations channel window. When I do that, you'll see nothing really changed. It kind of looks the same up here. But down here, what it does is opens up the rest of these buttons so I can actually click on this one. And it's the Make Work Path from Selection. I'm going to click that one once. Now you'll see up here, it says Work Path. What does that do? Well, it is a magical, magical thing. So now I'm going to give myself a new layer and um, in that layer, while it's selected, I'm going to type in the B for brush and um, that pulls up my brush. From there over here, I always have my brushes lined up on here. It's a good tip to have. There's two little windows for your brush. There's brush presets and then there's just brush. You want your brush. We're going to select a hard brush we're going to select the size. You can have any pixel size you want. It's your creativity. It's your project. You make your selection. I have it at 15 pixels. Here's where I need you to really focus. Spacing. See it down here? This is where it gets fun. When you get in here, it's usually set like this, like it's a straight single line when you're brushing. But you can bump this up to all kinds of things, all the way up to 1,000. I'm going to set mine to 98 but you have the option to set it to just about anything you want. Once you have that down and you're satisfied with it, you're going to head over here to Paths and you'll see Work Path is selected. We are sitting on the layers, the new layer that we created. We're going to tell Photoshop by utilizing Path to push this around the edge of that shape. And I'm going to show you how simple that is once you've set up the rest of it. Down here at the bottom is a little button that says Stroke Path with Brush. Click it once and now you have the stroke. As you can see here, I'm happy with that. When I am, I want to get rid of my path that has been selected and I'm going to just delete that now so it's an all over shape. It's that easy guys. How awesome is that? So now think about your possibilities. You can use that in a circle. You can use it in an eclipse. You can use it in a rectangle. You can use it in a square. One more quick tip thinking uh, along the lines of a circle. If you want a square, use your rectangle. Hold down the shift key keeps the square every time. 
From there you can do anything you want with this. You can clip it in and if you want to look at clipping art, I have a tutorial, a tutorial a few weeks ago that you can check on. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Tipsy Tuesday Tips. And if you have any questions whatsoever, just leave me a comment on my blog and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Until next week, this is Deborah Chetwood with the Texas Photographer. I hope you have a good one. Cheers. <laughs>